the beautifully named Tenebrism has brought Aidan O'Brien a fourth success in the Group 1 Cheveley Park. And that's quite a remarkable performance from a filly on just her second start, isn't it? Yeah, Liddy, we, we thought it wasn't possible for her to do it. We, we thought she was very good early in, in the spring and she was like mega impressive when she won her maiden. But she had a big setback after and she was off six weeks, two months in the box, which is a long time. Really, we didn't think that she was ready enough to come here, looking at her physically and her weights and everything, but she was working brilliant, work after work. She, she was just like she was blowing the horses away that she was working with. But really, we felt that she was ready to come to the races. It was a big ask, obviously, to come to come here for this Phillies race, and there's only one of these Phillies races in the year, and we knew if we missed it, like we weren't going to get it back. Um, I suppose our big thing is she settles very well and, and quickens very well, very, very clear-winded. Um, uh, Ryan gave her a brilliant ride, um, but she's a very exciting filly, obviously, and she has what her dad had. Uh, when, when Caravaggio was right, his turn of blistering turn at all, I remember when he won an Ascot twice, like he really is able to quicken, and that's what they, they seem to be able to do. So it, it's, a, listen, it's a very important thing in a horse, too, and um, no, delighted in Lydia, really. Did you have a little hiccup with her early on, or was she just growing? What happened? No, no, she didn't. Uh, she was a little bit off after winning a nace, a little bit off in front. Uh, we didn't find anything, couldn't find any problem, but she just wasn't uh, trotting level. And uh, we had to give her time, and, and it took, it was nearly, it was two months before she came back level. And then when that happened, then we started, the lad started her back driving. Um, and uh, she slowly built up. Uh, Shane was delighted we were coming here. David rides her every day. Uh, does a great job on her way and rides in her work. So, um, no, sure, listen, she's a very exciting filly, really, a lady. To do what she did today off of the, off where she was in the race, mm -hmm. off of the break that she had and the, the, the amount of experience she had. So, um, no, listen, she's very exciting, really. Very much so. Are we likely to see her again this season? I, obviously, the lads will make that decision and whatever they'll decide, we will do. Um, so, really, what will happen is, I suppose, we, she'll go home and see how much the race took out of her and then... Uh, and then I suppose we could see and I, I suppose they, they could go to the Breeders' Cup with her or mm -hmm. something like mm -hmm. that because like all she, the speed would really suit her mm -hmm. there so and she would have a nice gap between now and then like obviously when it's so long after running her first race to be pitched in in a race like this it might take a little bit of time to recover but if she if she recovers and, and she's well and 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 uh, the lads are happy to do that and if that's what they think we should do that's what we, we might do clearly if you're contemplating the breeders cup and her mum was a great miler yeah. you must be thinking of her in terms of the guineas next year as well uh, you have to you have to like even though she can quicken very well you have to think of the guineas because she's so relaxed mm. she, she's not a, a filly that'll blast off and want to get it over with quick so she's very happy to go asleep and, and then she's able to pick horses up and she did the very same thing in her maiden in very very heavy ground so um, and like obviously like you said her mum was a brilliant filly too you know so mm. she's very exciting lady. very exciting now you've got a couple of exciting colts in our next race New York City and HMS Endeavour what are you expecting from each of those? Yeah, our horses went through a blip in the middle of the year then they were all running okay but nothing was winning for some reason so we didn't know what so we had to wait with a lot of horses so a lot of horses didn't get out and then horses got out and they were only just ready to start so the horse rain rides has progressed with every run uh, we always thought this would suit him well six furlongs and here and he had a lovely run the last time and then uh, Ryan's horse um, had a nice run first time won his next two he was in Dundalk recently he got a bump coming out of stalls and he got a little bit unnerved early but we always thought he would get the six here and the race would suit him so really we'll be delighted if they run good races And uh, but they, they seem to be in good form and finally around this time you suggested that there might be an update on your brilliant St Mark's Basilica who's won so well four starts this season in yeah. such fine style each time is there an update on him? Yeah no I suppose where we are we, when, when he was uh, uh, when he was a bit sore we built him up full canters and he got a little bit sore and then we pulled back off him and uh, and uh, and we spoke to the lads uh, yesterday uh, about him and uh, I said that we still haven't built him back into full work and then the lads asked me could that have affected him in Leperstown and obviously you couldn't say it didn't because he, he never he always ran as straight as a gun barrel before and I don't know why he, he, he veered a bit to the right and, and obviously he came back and he was a bit sore where the wound was um, and, and he's not in full work so uh, they're thinking about it over the weekend and I, I'm hoping then we'll have something Monday what, what, where we're going to go or what we're going to do but um, that's where we are uh, with Melody at the okay. moment. OK, well, thank you very much for the update. Best of luck in our next race and congratulations on this uh, very exciting Group 1 filly. Thanks. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you.